Okay, let's look at example 5.4 where we are supposed to determine by direct integration the location of the parabolic spandrel. Okay, so what does that come to? First thing, what's the first thing we need to do? Well, on a lot of these problems, you'll notice that we have this variable k. We don't want k, so we're going to say, so y is equal to kx squared. But we do know y at a is equal to b, right, which is equal to k, and x here is a squared. So therefore, k is equal to b over a squared. So let's rewrite this right from the get-go, that y is equal to b over a squared x squared. Okay, so that's the equation that we're working with. Now, we want to create, we're doing this by direct integration, and we don't want to do double integration, so instead we're going to create little strips. So I'm going to use a vertical strip. So I'm going to say, let's create this little vertical strip right here. This is my differential element, right? So let's define that. My dA is equal to what? Well, it's going to be, the thickness here is going to be dx. So it's a dx, and my height is going to be y. So there, my differential element is, so my dA is y dx. So I can tell you, we're going to need the, we're going to need the area to determine this stuff. So let's go ahead and integrate this out. So area is integral of dA, right? So it's integral. What are my limits of integration? Well, I'm going to go from uh, 0 to a, from 0 to a of y dx. So it's integral from 0 to a. y is what? y is b over a squared uh, x squared, right? That's from, again, that's from right here, times dx. So area is going to be 1 third b over a squared x cubed evaluated from 0 to a. So area ends up being 1 third a b. Okay, that's not the answer, but we're going to need that as we go on to the next thing. So now, what is the next thing? Well, it comes down to these equations right here, right? x bar area is equal to integral of x bar d a, x bar l times d a. So what is our x bar l? We need to let's define it right here. So here, where is our? It's right here, right? That's our, that's our centroid of that differential element. So let's put put it on here. X bar of that element is simply going to be at x, and y bar of that differential element is going to be where? It's going to be at one half y, right? So at any given distance, it's halfway between here. Uh, really? Sorry about that. It's going to be one half between here and there. So it's going to be one half y. So let's come in here. So this is integral, again, from 0 to a of x bar of the element, which is x. And dA is, we define it right here, right? It's going to be y dx. And y is defined up here, right? So this is integral from 0 to a of uh, b over a squared x cubed dx, right? So that's equal to b over a squared 1 fourth x to the fourth from 0 to a. So that's going to give you a squared b over 4. Okay, but what is that? That's not our answer. That is our, our first moment, but again, who cares? Really, what do we, what do we really want? We want to know what x bar is. So this is equal to x bar times area. So let's divide through by area. So therefore, x bar is equal to a squared b over 4, right, divided by 1 third a b. So the b is going to cancel, one of the a's is going to cancel, and therefore x bar is equal to 3 fourths a. So our x bar is 3 fourths, so it's going to be, you know, somewhere along this line. So I just happen to draw it right on the x bar. And let's do the same thing for y bar. So y bar area is integral of y bar element dA. Oops, dA, right? So it's equal to integral. Now what are my limits on this? It's still going to be from 0 to a, because we're taking this differential strip right here, and we're moving it in this direction. Right, we're moving it along here. So from 0 to a, my y bar element is right here, 1 half y, and my dA 
is, again right here, y dx. So it's integral from 0 to a, 1 half y squared dx. You plug in y squared, and it ends up being the integral from 0 to a of 1 half um, b squared over a to the fourth x to the fourth dx. When you solve that, you end up that you get this is equal to 1 tenth uh, b squared a. But again, that's the first moment with respect to y. No one cares. And so we're going to go through and we're going to divide through by the area. So we're going to divide through by 1 third a b. Sorry, I switched a's. So this needs to be little a. a b. The a's are going to cancel this time. One of the b's are going to cancel. And therefore, y bar is equal to 3 tenths b. And that's how you solve it by direct integration. Now you can do this by picking a horizontal strip. Um, I will let you look in the book at the at when they work that out. Um, quite frankly, it's a little bit harder be, just because of the nature of how things that we have this equation right here. Because of this equation, I think it makes it it tends the vertical strips tend to be a little bit easier. But the, it's not too much harder. It's not all that much difference. And so have a look at the the way they do it in the book, and that's we'll call that good.